Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your bonus reading for uh, July 2023. We're just going to jump right in here. You have this uh, Blessings in Disguise card and this uh, Life of the Party card. You could be the life of the party right now here, Scorpio. Wouldn't surprise me, but uh, there also could be some sort of Blessing in Disguise coming in for you or uh, you're like seeing how something um, that didn't work was actually a good thing. So, you know, definitely, it looks like a new opportunity here. Um, the Page of Pentacles could be a new person, but that's not really what I'm feeling. I mean, it could be, but, <laughs> you know, I feel like it's an opportunity. It could be like a job um, that you've wanted or, um, you know, a bunch of money coming in for from like something that you've been working on. We have the Empress here, so definitely a lot of abundance coming in for you is what I would say, but... Uh, let's see where this is going. You have the uh, Page of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Six of Swords. So uh, you're clearly moving on to calmer shores. Things are improving for you. You have two sixes here as well. Uh, if you've been watching me for a while, you know I love two sixes because it basically says you're going the right direction. You're on the right path. You're moving towards the things that you're supposed to be moving towards. So, um, you know, I feel progress in this reading, but I also feel that that is kind of like saying you are feeling progress. You feel like things are actually going the right way. So, you know, that can be very motivating when we actually finally feel like we are making progress. Another six right here. So this is like a lot of confirmation as well. Um, you know, the, the sixes to me, like I said, multiple sixes just says you're on the right path. You're going in the right direction. So I kind of feel like a lot of you are just getting confirmation. Again, when we get confirmation, I feel that makes us more confident, which makes us make better decisions. And, you know, it kind of creates a positive snowball. So that's like what's going on here. You have the page of pentacles, um, you know, going this way here, page of pentacles, knight of, pe knight of pentacles to the knight of wands. Um, you know, I would be careful of like, um, taking too long. I'm not telling you what to do here. Someone always gets offended. I'm always like, do, I, I don't care. Do whatever you want. Number one, I'm not here to tell you what to do in the first place, but you know, I'm just, I am just saying, right? Um, you know, that if you are dealing with a new person, especially if it's an earth sign or someone who has a lot of earth in their chart, I feel like if you move too slow that they're going to run away. I just feel like, and this is what I mean by this is like, I feel like you could be dealing with this past person or there could be a person coming in and I feel like they had, they dealt with a past person that completely wasted their time, right? Didn't give them, didn't give them attention, uh, dragged it out, like dragged, you know, kind of like, you know, just created a bunch of space, you know, and didn't fill the space with anything. So I really get the sense that you could be attracting a good person here, but you know, again, I'm not going to sugarcoat. I almost feel like the reading is saying like, don't ruin it. <laughs> you know, I feel like this reading is saying this is like a really good person, but if you like, um, you know, like if you're like not engaging with them or, you know, anything like that, you know, you know I feel like this person is going to run away. And if you make them like wait too long in between dates or something, I don't know, something like that is popping into my head. Um, and again, don't shoot the messenger. Like I said, I, Chris is catfood.com for you cat ladies out there or future cat ladies. I got you covered. So don't worry about it. If you're like offended by what I'm saying, then Chris is catfood.com. I'm going to have bulk options. You know, it's going to be great. So there you go. But you know, I got you covered, like I said, but what I would say here is for the rest of you, again, I just feel like this person and had their time wasted and it's like they're not going to do it again i'm not saying you have to rush with this person or anything i'm just saying you know i'm just saying right so there you go uh, you have the empress you're clearly very attractive at this time so if you want love i would get out there um you know i feel like there could be you know it doesn't matter what gender you are either um i just feel like you're very attractive at this time and and by the way this could be you by the way you know again maybe someone wasted your time and you're you're like not looking to waste your time again so you know like like i said take it how it resonates but um, you know, very attractive at this time. Uh, I feel a lot of you are more focused on your abundance anyway. I mean, you have six of pentacles, seven of pentacles. You're like building something here, ace of wands. There's a lot of creative growth I see as well. If you have like a business or a side hustle that is like creative in some way, um, then this looks very, very good to me. Um, you could be getting involved in like social media and stuff like that as well. All the water signs get stuff about attention. And so, um, you know, I feel like it's an amazing time for water signs in general to, you know, for the next 20 years, basically Pluto and Aquarius. It, it's an amazing time for water signs in particular, I think to express themselves through like social media and stuff like that. So if you have a business, it might be a great place to, you know, any, any, social media, YouTube, TikTok, whatever, I don't care. Um, you know, might be a great place for you to uh, grow your business or grow your reach for your business or whatever the case may be. Uh, you have the Six of Swords, moving on to Commerce Shores. Definitely a lot of improvements coming in for you here. So, you know, this woman and the child in this boat, they're leaving everything behind them behind and they're completely having a fresh start. They're completely moving on 
to Commerce Shores. They're completely moving forward. And you're clearly moving forward here. We have the six, uh, Knight of Pentacles to the Seven of Pentacles here. Seven of Pentacles is a change in direction. Um, and it, it, he's kind of like looking at all the work he's done. And you know, it's my card of, is the juice worth the squeeze? He's like looking at all this work that he's done in his life. And he's like saying, was it worth it or not? <laughs> and I feel like a lot of you could be like looking at things and saying like, was it worth it for me to do all this work or not? Or you could be just like looking to grow something. I do also feel some of you, again, if you have work business, so, you know, if you're in work or business, I see you kind of like trying to take something to the next level. You could be like, if you have a business, you could be hiring people. Uh, you could be just expanding your reach through social media, like I said, or you're, it's like you're doing something. I don't know. I think some of you have like a million ideas. I feel like they're all good. <laughs> so I would just get started. Six of Pentacles literally just says, start planting seeds. If you're like not sure what to do in work or business here, Six of Pentacles says, start planting seeds, like try a couple of things, right? See what grows, see what doesn't, uh, keep what grows, double down on the things that grow and um, you know get rid of the rest. And that's what I would do here. Scorpio. And sorry, that first row is going to drive me crazy. It is not lining up, but there you go. Two of Cups with the uh, Page of Pentacles. Do I need to say it? You know, and literally card of communication. I immediately got the feeling that this is a person who has dealt with like very little communication or it's like a person, it's like a very weird feeling. I feel like this person, if you meet this person, it's like, I actually don't think they would talk much about their past in the first place, but you might find out that their, their past person would like love bomb them basically and then disappear right? It's like, I get that feeling. So you again, I'm not telling you what to do here, but I, I would just say that if you think you're going to play games with this person, they're going to run right away. They're done. <laughs> so they are not playing games. They're dead serious. Uh, with the Empress, yes, you will be very attractive, attracted to this person. I feel like they're very serious as well. They could be a fire sign for sure here, Scorpio. Take it how it resonates. They could just be a boss, you know, a boss-like person. I always say that the King of Wands to me is like a true entrepreneur, um, He, but he might not have a business, you know? Um, he might just be someone who really nurtures things into existence. That's like the type of entrepreneur he is too. He's like, he raises things like they are a baby. So he really cares, like on the highest vibration of the King of Wands, he really raises things like they're a baby. He really takes care of things. I look at tarot as a spectrum. Uh, that's why I don't read reversals. I read energy and I channel. And you know, it's like, to me, it's like he can be super negative or super positive, but there's everything in between. But again, the highest vibration version, he like really nurtures things into existence, just like the Queen, of, uh, the uh, Empress is what I meant to say. Uh, for those of you in business, again, this is a, I, without even clarifying it further, I already know that this is a very good business reading, especially if you're embracing this energy of being like entrepreneurial. Uh, with the Six of Swords, you have the Page of Wands here. I, I, I mean, I feel like you're ready for something different. I get like a very, I have the word foreign popping into my head. So it's like some of you might be traveling to a foreign country or something like that, literally. Uh, but for others, I kind of feel like you're just looking for variety in life. So you could be doing things that are, you know, foreign to you. You could just be doing things you've never done before. I think it's an amazing time to do that. I'm literally starting a whole new channel about it because, you know, I think we're in a time of experimentation where we need to, you know, do things we've never done before. Even if that means, you know, if you drive the same way to work every single day, even if that means you try something else. <laughs> I know it sounds stupid, but it's like when we open up to, you know, new experiences, I think you'll be amazed at what shows up. Uh, next, uh, in the area, what you need to hear right now, you have this card that says, in my dreams, I find my answers. Uh, you have this other card that says, the divine is always supporting and guiding me. Yeah, you are very guided at this time. And I do feel it is definitely a time where you could be having some crazy dreams. So, you know, I would be trusting your intuition, trusting your dreams, your daydreams, you know, all that other stuff, because I think it'll bring a lot of clarity in for you and just like a lot of success as well. Uh, you have the Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Justice card here. Again, if you're afraid to invest with a person, um, you know, maybe that's where this weird energy I'm getting is coming from. But Six of Pentacles says, put a little bit in. And if it if they return the favor, then then keep going. Again, I think people, I always say, that you know, people always love to leave me comments about how they how hurt they were about you know overgiving in a relationship and like trust me, I get as an overgiver, I totally get it. But it's like I only have myself to blame, right? And so what I would say here is like again, put a little bit in. If they return the energy, then great. Then you know that you should keep going. If they don't, then you shouldn't. Plain and simple. So make sure you're like giving in balance. But again, I do feel like you're dealing with a person 
who, you know, was breadcrumbed in the past. And it, it just keeps popping into my head. So, you know, again, it is what it is. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is playing it too safe, being too cautious. Like I said, I feel like this person, you could be attracting someone very intuitive as well. Um, so again, they might pick up on it right away that in, uh, you know, at the same time, you know, this person might open their mouth, you know, they might, they might say something to you. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not interested in playing games, you know, but again, it's like, I'm, I'm not so sure that you will want it to get to this point. We haven't clarified yet. We'll see what comes up. But um, on top of that, again, I also feel that he has these empty fields behind him here. And I feel like there's a lot more potential in something that you do. And again, I really get the feeling in this reading that you could be leveling something up here, like your career, business. Uh, even if you're retired, you could just be leveling your life up in some way. And um, But again, you have to plant seeds in this field. It's like he's not making movements. In you know, He needs to start making moves. And you have the justice card. So again, justice is cause and effect. Six of pentacles, cause and effect. If you put energy into something, what do you get back? The other thing I would say about the justice card is that, you know, it's a very neutral card. You know, they say justice is blind. You know, justice does not, um, you know, justice weighs up the evidence and does not, um, you know, it takes a very neutral approach to making decisions, right? And so I feel like you need to do that. We're definitely in a time of that as well. Like I say all the time, uh, I don't really have any good examples, but you know, it's like sometimes I think people in business think like, oh, my way works instead of trying other things. And justice wouldn't do that. Justice says like, what's the best way? Justice doesn't like try to, you know, uh, uh, apply their own bias to things. And so, you know, I, I do feel like it would be a good time for you to be like more open to trying new ways of doing things, like I said because you might be surprised at what works. With the Six of Pentacles, you have the tower. Every single person has had the tower, so it doesn't surprise me. I feel like there could clearly be like some sort of global tower moment. We've seen a bunch of them <laughs> happening over you know the past like couple of years here. So you know we're, there's just gonna be a bunch more. Between now and 2033, there's gonna be like a billion tower moments in the world. So you know more banks collapsing, more presidents stepping down, stuff like that. So you know it doesn't really surprise me. And you know again, I have a feeling everyone's gonna get the tower, so there you go. Uh, with the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Five of Pentacles. Again, I feel like this is someone who's been left out in the cold. So like I said already, I would be careful. Uh, the Five of Pentacles, though, says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. It really wants you to focus on your strengths. So, you know, I would encourage to you to, you know, focus on the things that you're good at with the uh, Knight of Pentacles here and the Five of Pentacles. Um, this could, again, involve like hiring people. If you're not good at something, then... Um, you know, maybe there are people who are good at something in business that you could hire that would make things easier. Uh, with the uh, Justice card, you have the Two of Wands. Uh, I thought you had the Two of Wands. Oh, you do, right here. <laughs> I was like, I thought you had it twice. And, and there it is, right there. So Two of Wands is about taking the lead. And it's about leaving a comfort zone. It is coming up in the area of the good stuff. So, you know, this last row is going to represent the good stuff no matter what. But I would encourage you to, you know, get out into the world. I would encourage you to take some sort of leap of faith. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, you have this card that says keepers of the earth. It says you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand behind you. You have this awakening card. It says energetic upgrade. There you go. I was like, I was feeling some sort of level up upgrade going on here. A new way of being integration. Yeah, some of you could be just stepping into a new world as well uh, with that two of wands. Again, he has the whole world in his hands on the two of wands. And so, you know, he could be stepping into a new world or kind of like doing things different in his life. You have the uh, Seven of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. And yeah, there's some sort of change going on for you. Seven of Pentacles change in direction. You know, he's looking at those Seven Pentacles, saying, is the juice worth the squeeze? And, you know, he could be making some sort of change here, but he's grown something. And look, with the Knight of Wands, again, you have that empty field behind you. So I feel like there is going to be growth coming in for you. You have the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is a card of growth. <laughs> it is also a card that says out with the old, in with the new. That castle in the background is crumbling. So, you know, it's like some sort of new opportunity. And if you look here on the two wands, something behind him stands on its own, that that second wand. But he's reaching forward to this, this uh, or the second wand. This is the first wand. He's reaching forward to this new wand, which is kind of like the Ace of Wands, and he's ready to step out into the world. So again, I would encourage you to you know step out into the world. Something behind you is complete and something that you're thinking about. I feel like you need to move forward and go on the adventure. Look, the Knight of Wands, he is the card of being adventurous. He's a card of being spontaneous. He has that wand in his hand. So, you know, it is a card of kind of like stepping out into the world. The Ace of Wands, I mean, sorry, the uh, Knight of Wands is a card that says you need to be spontaneous. It's like a card that says, 
you know, be open to different ways of doing things. Like I said, with the justice card. So, you know, there you go. Uh, let's see. Don't be too fixed, Scorpio. With the seven of pentacles, you have the justice card. Are you kidding? There you go. <laughs> it's like, you know, I'm wondering if some of you have gotten everything you can out of something. And now it's time to, you know, take it to the next level. You know, it's like, it's almost like, you know, I, you know, I, I come from advertising and, you know, I, I used to work with businesses where they have like a really good advertisement on like Facebook, for example. And it's like, they, they could only get to a certain level and they would be like, okay, I guess this is just what we're going to do. I'd be like, no, you are going to now take this and bring it to like YouTube, for example. It's like, you know, I, I kind of get that feeling for those of you in like work or business. It's like, you might only be in, it's like you've perfected one area and you just need to take it somewhere else. <laughs> so I, I, I hope that makes sense. That's what I'm getting here. With the uh, Ace of Wands, you have the Queen of Swords. Yes, you see clearly. I feel like you see an opportunity very clearly. And this could be any type of opportunity. I feel like it's something you're gonna be very passionate about. Definitely could be love, um, but it could also be just a creative new idea. Again, very creative time for you water signs. It seems like the water signs keep getting these cards of you know, embracing creative opportunity. With the Knight of Wands, yes, you have the lovers here. Yeah, you're gonna have to be, um, you know, I'm wondering if you're attracting someone that is gonna require flexibility as well. Um, you know, like spontaneous opportunity here. It, it could be a very spontaneous person as well, is what I'm getting. Could be, it could be someone who's like very adventurous. So, you know, there you go. I don't know, I was gonna say something else, but I don't, I, I totally lost it, Scorpio. I'll come back to it if I get it. Uh, next, you have in the area of the unexpected, you have this perspective card. It says, none of this matters. Zoom out, common ground. Yes, you can see there's like a world like right there in the middle. <laughs> so nothing matters. You have the Stark family card. It says, you're part of a team of souls. Call in support. Yes, if you need support or help, I would ask for it. If you're like building something as well, like a business or career or whatever, don't be afraid to ask other people for help either. But again, this last row represents the good stuff. You have the two of wands, the... Uh, six of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Two of Wands is about taking the lead and kind of like getting out into the world. Again, he has that world in his hand. So, you know, I feel like a lot of you are kind of expanding out into the world. And I also feel like you need to kind of go on an adventure as well. So he needs to be adventurous. That's where he's going to find all his success. Uh, you have the Six of Wands here. Six of Wands, card of success. And I feel like you're finding success. Um, uh, I, I knocked this camera and it's a whole process to fix the focus. So <laughs> I'm just coming over here, Scorpio. But, you know, I feel like there's a victory coming in for you. I, You know, you can see that he's up on his high horse here, but it's like a good high horse. He earned his right to be on top of that horse. So I feel like whatever you're accomplishing at this time, it's like you've earned the right to be there. And I feel like you need to embrace it. There might be people who are jealous. Again, the Six of Wands is a good card, but there is a person like right here, it's not gonna focus, but there's a person right there who's meant to be, who's meant to look jealous and stuff like that. So, you know, what I would say here is like, ignore it, who cares? Uh, you have the Two of Pentacles, work hard, play hard. Every single person I've read for has had something about balancing the energy and making sure that if you're working hard, you're playing hard. It seems to be one of those times. Again, I feel if we're only working, then we become dull. So make sure you're doing things that you enjoy. Make sure you're enjoying your life and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, with the two of wands, you have the seven of pentacles again. Yes, the, uh, like what are you, I, I would say, if you're holding on to something, it's time to get out into the world and do something new here, Scorpio. Because you know, seven of pentacles says, "Is the juice worth the squeeze?" Like you could be holding on to something that is complete. Uh, with the six of wands, you have the strength card. I feel like you've been very patient. You've been building something for a long time. It could even be that you've been building up yourself. You know, you've been working on yourself or your inner world. And now it's time to kind of show it off to the world. It's time to get the benefits of having worked on yourself or whatever you worked on. With the two of pentacles, you have the ace of cups. You know, again, Two of Pentacles, I feel like is saying, make a decision here. Uh, I remember at the beginning of the reading, I was I, like, I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know. Again, I, I, I don't trust any reader that claims they know everything. I don't think we're meant to know everything, but I don't know who it is, whether it's you or them. Someone feels indecisive to me here. I don't know. Again, again, I'm not calling you out. I don't know if it's you that's making them feel indecisive or vice versa, right? Um, so again, I would just communicate. I think all these issues could be solved by opening your mouth. If something feels weird or off, talking about it will probably do something. Again, I think we're afraid to talk about it with people sometimes because we're like, oh, I, I finally have a girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever. And, um, you know, I'm afraid to lose them. So I'm, I'm just not going to say anything. This is like flap your gums, open your mouth and say something so that it doesn't turn into something it doesn't need to, right? Uh, you know, there you go.
Uh, let's see. We're using the Kipper to pull five main themes. You have this thief card. Yeah, I mean, you could have dealt with a person from the past that was like basically a thief and, you know, like a thief of your joy as well. So I would be careful of that. Uh, I would be careful of distractions as well, as well. I'm getting like thief of time. Like there could be, you know, if you have something in your life that steals your time, it could be like a habit, a person, whatever. I would be careful of that. Uh, you have this privileged lady card. Uh, it doesn't matter what gender you are. I feel like you could be becoming more privileged. You have the uh, um, Empress, the King of Wands. I don't know. I feel very fancy <laughs> uh, with that energy. Again, you could be meeting a person who makes you feel this way as well. So, you know, definitely very good. I feel like you need to protect your time here for sure. I mean, that thief card is like jumping out at me here. It's like saying, you know, it's like we've all dealt with it where like a person like, you know, talks to us and, you know, it's like we run into a person in the store. They're just like, you know, run, run in their mouth and everything. I, like, I feel like you need to be careful of those things for whatever reason. You have this uh, journey card. Some of you could be traveling for sure. I get like for some of you, I feel there is a need to move. Like maybe there just are no opportunities where you live in your and you just need more opportunity. So you could be making a change. Literally, your next card is this change card. It is a time where we have to embrace change. There's gonna be a lot of changes over the next 20 years, a lot. And you might say, oh, Chris, there are change. Of course, there's gonna be changes over 20 years. I'm like, yeah, you you ain't seen nothing yet. Like, mark my words, like Pluto and Aquarius is gonna be bonkers, I promise you. It's like the stuff we see, the, the things that come out over the next 20 years will probably blow your mind. New inventions, new ideas, new ways of doing things, new world. So, you know, mark my words, come back in 20 years, leave a comment on this video. Uh, you have this family room card. Uh, I feel like for some of you, a family is important, but what is this talking about here? Uh, some of you might be thinking about having a family or having a desire to have a family. There could also, you could also be thinking about a person that you would like to have a family with. So, uh, you know, there you go. Uh, you, um, you know, shoot your shot, do what you gotta do here, Scorpio. I don't know where I was going with this, but uh, Scorpio, this is amazing reading. I like where it's going. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.